you would like to use multiple signatures in your Gmail. For example, you would like to have a separate signature from when you're communicating with your customers, so from pe with people from outside your organization. And you might want to have a separate signature from when you're communicating with your colleagues within your organization. Up until now, there was no official way to do that in Gmail, but that has changed. I'm Chanel Greco from Saperis, and in this video, I'll show you how you can set up your Gmail so that you have multiple signatures which you can choose from. And before I forget, hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when I load up new tutorials about Gmail, Google Drive, or any other G Suite app. We're here in chain examples Gmail inbox. And if we compose an email, you see she has no signature at the moment. So let's close that out again. And let's go and actually create two separate signatures, one for our customers, so people outside of our organization, and one for people within our organization. For that, we, kick, uh, we click on the icon setting, the gear setting, and we go to settings. And then we scroll down until we find where you go here, signatures. At the moment, we have no signature and we'll create a new signature. We'll call this um, outside organization. There you go. And this is where we can actually create our organization. So write in whatever information we want to have there. I have this prepared here. I'll just go ahead and paste that. Okay, so let's say we would want to add our logo, our company's logo, no problem. We'll click on the insert image button and we'll choose our logo. There you go, it gets displayed. Now maybe a little bonus tip. What about if when people click on our logo, they actually get sent to our, um, in this case, our company's website? Well, to do that, just mark your icon, and then, this is a bit tricky, click on the link and type in, uh, type in URL. There you go. So now this is an image and it's um, wrapped around with a link so that when you click on the icon, you actually, um, the, the website actually pops up. Okay, good. So now we would want to have our second signature and that we do by saying create new and uh, within organization, there you go. And I'll just go and copy paste the the part that I want for my second signature. And let's say something like here to make you happy. Um, a quote. So this is what the people from within the organization then will see. Good. Now we can define that when we create a new email, we want, in this case, we want the outside organization and on replies and forward also outside organization to pop up or to, to automatically be chosen as signature for us. You could also use the insider or within organization. It depends on, on your use case. So do you write more emails uh, to customers, for example, or to your colleagues? Well, then, you know, it's up to you to choose the correct signature. So let's save our changes. Okay, and now let's see how we can actually use this signature. How can we choose which signature we want to have in a specific email? We'll compose a new email, and this is the default. So this is the email signature for the people outside of my organization. And if I were to want to change the signature, all I have to do is click on this and say within organization. So I toggle the different signatures I've created by clicking on this little pen icon and then just saving it or um, changing it. Or you could also click on no signature if you prefer, also a possibility. But I think this looks pretty neat. 
Leave me a comment if you have any questions concerning signatures or do you maybe have a use case where you think, hmm, this would make sense to use multiple signatures. Go ahead and leave me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because twice a week we give you a new tutorial about a G Suite app so that you can become a G Suite Pro.